Hey, welcome back to Chippo Fishing. Today we're land based. We're doing some shade tree mechanic work. It's unfortunate, but that's part of it. As you know, I've got the new Minnacota Ultrex. Um, it's a lot more beefier than my last trolling motor, which was a Minnacota All Terrain, maybe a uh, 40 pound thrust, whereas the Minnacota is not 12 volt but 24 volts you got two batteries hooked up in series to make it 24 volt two 12 volt batteries hooked up and so it's a 24 volt system and it draws more amps so more amps you got you got to have the avenue to carry that amps so before i had uh eight 10 gauge wire they said I need six gauge wire. So here I am. I went to Lowe's. Okay, I've got more than ample enough to do the job. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch these out. I'm gonna tape the two together. Tape them together like every foot or two foot and try to pull it through and go underneath my floor and back out to my batteries set up now i had issues before it was running fine and it was thinner gauge wire than i really needed so it was running fine except for when i turned it all the way up or hit hyper speed where it goes up to 10 so and then it would trip out and my 20 amp circuit breaker i noticed and called Minico to check it out and made sure it was a power supply issue. Basically, if your 24 volt system trolling motor doesn't have the power it needs, it automatically powers down. And then when it's clear again and can get that juice, it'll power back up. But in the meantime, my automatic reset was steady working on my circuit breaker. And if you can see a little bit of the, the wire starting to burn, the actual copper turning black. And see how that's not paint, folks. That's, that's an electrical issue that was getting ready to happen. So, you know, I shut it down. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. I got a 60 amp breaker with a manual reset. So, when it trips... You've got to manually press in that red button to make it reset. Otherwise, um, you know, it will not work. Whereas the automatic one would, as soon as it got clear, it would push up juice up the, up the cable. And if you're having problems, there you go. It's just going to create more trouble. Now, my old plug system is not quite the 6 gauge either. I believe that's uh, probably 8 gauge, maybe 10. So we're going to be replacing this. <clears throat> and so I got on the internet, looked around, looked around, and boom, these folks right here. I guess you can see it with my finger out there. MarinePartsService.com. And I spoke with Jeff. Jeff awesome individual very knowledgeable so what i did <clears throat> is i ordered a plug male and female that i can go directly with my six gauge that will accept six gauge wire not everything accepts six gauge wire but you're going to need that for your 20 volt system 24 volt system excuse me so that's what i did is i ordered that from jeff and um you guys might want to consider if you need parts they're they're basically a uh, as you described a hard parts for marine products uh pumps impellers uh pieces and parts for boat motors uh, valves uh you know also have naturally trolling motor plugs hey that's how i hooked up but um they they seem like good people and very reasonable price you know 
<laughs> beat Amazon, beat eBay, you know. So, yeah, get, give them a consideration when you need some products. They're, they're awesome people to deal with. So let's go over what I'm going to do again. Oh, and by the way, I moved my heading sensor. The heading sensor is basically an electronic compass. I call it the white hockey puck. So the white hockey puck talks to the GPS system and my trolling motor. So the two of them coordinate, and that way I can use spot lock and jog. Jog is a system where it will move you from spot lock, it'll move you five foot to the right, north, south, east, and west, basically. It'll move you five, every button push is five foot in one direction. So put the button twice, 10 foot. Push it up once, north, boom, 10 foot over, five foot up. It's pretty nice. So here we go. Um, I'll give you a quick layout as I'm getting ready to do that. And I'm gonna hold my breath while I try to feed this wire through. But before I do that, I'll show you how I've, I've got it rigged up. All right, thanks again for Chippo Fishing. We're gonna get her done. All right, little progress report. Um, might be overkill, it's one shot, one kill. So, I don't know what I'm up against because this has a, a used boat. I uh, do not know how the it's fed up underneath the floor with the wires going up underneath the floor. And I last resort is taking up the floor to put these wires down. So, I did a wrap every eight inches. And then I did a spiral the whole way so it can slide a little bit easier now what i'm going to do is clip my old wires to the plug and i will be taping that old wires and new wires together and uh through the assistance of handyman dad or two vet will be helping me out and pulling the wires through and we're all gonna hold our breath all right, folks. All right. I tried the old push me, pull me on trying to pull from this end, trying to pull the up from the other end. So I'm utilizing up here on the side. I've come out here, which is a third of the way through. So I may have to take this, this part of the deck up and run it up. Maybe go through my rod locker underneath the rod locker and then come out back there somewhere. So here we go. Never give up, never give up. Especially when you're bound to succeed. Keep on trying, folks. Couldn't you try just a little bit harder? Couldn't you try just a little bit more? That's for you, Jerry. We miss you. All right, folks. Uh, this is the gig up underneath all the wires are run through and spray foam was put on Over top of it around it underneath it on top of it Sideways it's covered with spray foam. So I was able to run it through here I'm gonna drill a hole through my rod locker Drill a hole through the other side of the rod locker come back out loop it through and be able to access my batteries so there we go all right making it work um pretty thick aluminum so i'm gonna score it with a hammer and some of something to indent it a little bit and see if i can't be able to drill through we're gonna try to try to get her done Okay, I have the hole drilled. I uh, scored it pretty good with a some type of homemade gadget. Sort of like a punch. Scored it. Rounded off smooth with a rasp. Heavy gauge sandpaper inside, outside. Now I'm going to sleeve it with an old golf club grip 
you could use a garden hose, but most of the old ones are, um, you know, harsh PVC. It's going to protect it just fine. Right in there. So, actually, we turn around this way. And I'll do the same thing for the other side. And build it up with a little bit of, of tape on this side right here. It's not going to go anywhere. Your bow tips. Okay, things are progressing pretty well. I've got my hole drilled here. I have golf club grip and some tape so it won't come all the way through. I have my hole drilled back here. I've got that rounded out. I'm going to do a similar sleeve. I'm going to come back round up to here into my battery section. Folks, when you got something that you're trying to make work, something that's worthwhile, it's 1986 EP. And let me say right here, there was a casting deck that was about up to here. Uh, the prior the person I bought it from, instead of coming up here, so they've chopped it down, which is an awesome thing for a deep V get that extra floor space here and have higher higher walls all right folks thanks for joining me on chip out of fishing yes quick and easy quick and easy with the whole saw and a little little jig set up or as a guide quick and easy so if you got an already existing hole set you up a jig made by the size hole that you need and then roll with it all right folks now then this bracket has a cutout right here on the top for your waterproof flap there is a arrow here for the top there's a thumb set for your top up here and everly important remember Red on the same size as red, black on the same size as black. Sounds uh, a little bit repetitive, but there we go. Uh, that's going to keep us from having sparks. The only sparks we want is big crappy in the boat. All right, folks. Uh, I've got a good secure connection, and here's the deal. We've got our the locking nut which will go thread it up through here on the outs on the inside of our plate on the outside of our plate we've got the top triangle up i've got this face plate here there's a little notch out here for the waterproof and we're ready to uh we have a connection we're just gonna go ahead and put our two set screws here and i think we'll be quite good to go uh special shout out to wayne uh wayne man thank you so much just kindness is is overwhelming that you're willing to share your equipment and tools a lot of things you know people don't even let out of their sight you know let me hold that no but you know very kind super guy man uh, i'm doing this video because i i like to do my homework i like to do my homework and look around and and find you know do my research uh forums reviews videos saw some some uh, reviews on product reviews on individual sites but really didn't see any videos I saw some videos of some old style but none like like for this particular model so hey it's a little niche for chippo fishing all right thanks again for joining me and um, you know this is an older vessel it's 1986 so you know 2019 so we're making it work. We're making it work. So that's, that's the, the things I get, I try to put out there with my videos are never give up. Take your worst day. Make it your best, you know. T take a, a bad experience and turn it around make it into a good learning experience. 
So uh, if you're just viewing this for this uh, plug and receptacle, awesome. But uh, I do invite you to come join me, uh, weekly videos, year round. Hit that little red subscribe button, like, share, comments. Comments, get back to me. I'll get back to you. All right, thanks again, folks. Peace. All right, folks. Job well done, Chippo. Okay, here's what we got. We got a trolling motor. We got it deployed. Turn it on. And there we go. Okay, we've got our new plug receptacle. The wire runs through here. Remove the plate here. Drill the hole through the rod locker. Out the back of the other rod locker. Back behind the gas tank. Come in here, through here with the circuit breaker. Uh, 60 amp circuit breaker not a 20 or 25 come to my positive here's my negative wire it runs directly to my plug direct directly to the receptacle and here's my jumper which turns 212 volts into 24 volts so that's basically it that's the end of my project uh, again if you guys have any questions or comments you know <laughs> I'm not the, I'm not an electrical engineer. I just make things work. So um, you know, uh, give me a like, thumbs down. You know, tell me how I can improve my electrical prowess. Uh, but yeah, you know, that that's what what I did. And just like every project, every time you go fishing, take something, learn from it. Learn what you did right. Learn what you did wrong. Learn the bonehead move. Oh, well, we won't try that again. <laughs> but, um, you know, everyday progress, everyday movement. Thank you, folks.